And right, better stop admiring the box and actually check out what's inside the January Freshwater Trout and Redfin box. Right, this is the Pontoon 21 Little Trout Spinner. This is the Type A. This thing's a, ni a neat little profile. This is just like a traditional trout spinner, so it's an inline trout spinner with your little spinning blade, your single treble at the back with some nice feathered stuff and a bit of weight and, you know, it's a traditional trout spinner. And these are great for both redfin and, you guessed it, trout. Now this one here was made for essentially calm and slower waters. You can fish this in shallow waters, that's, that's not the issue, but you're gonna probably look for more calm, slow waters, so a slow running stream rather than, you know, white water rapids. Uh, this is gonna be a great option for your little trout getting around. You wanna fish with some lighter line. Six pound will be plenty. This still does have a pretty good weight to it. So six pound braid will be absolutely plenty light enough for casting this. You're gonna cast it out, probably aim for the slightly deeper parts or deeper pools, and just do a slow to medium, probably more of a medium one with this as that little blade just kicks into gear, creating heaps of flash and vibration. Little trout will dart out and start following this as soon as you see it follow it. Don't pause, just, just start winding a little bit faster and you'll watch these trout dart after it, chase after it and want to hit it. Now if you're fishing dams, you can feel free to pause it and, and add a few little things like that in there, causing it to sink down and still spin and vibrate on the drop and then wind it back in. But the design of this one was mainly made for slower streams. Then we're gonna jump over to this one here. This is the crazy Shad. This is the 59 SFMR in the Pearl IU. So let's go through what the 59 SFMR stands for. So 59 is obviously the size, it is a 59 mil hard body minnow lure. It is SF, which is a slow float, and MR, medium run. So it is a medium diver, not a deep, not a shallow, but medium. So it's only gonna go maybe three to five foot down. Being a shallow float is gonna be perfect for those sort of shallow to mid depth streams where you can work it down as it gets down, you can pause it and let it slow float back up. This is dynamite for your redfin because the redfin are super, super territorial. So they're gonna be sitting tight in against some structure or even schooling up on some flats. You can just medium roll this straight through those fish. If you've got a sounder, work out where those fish are sitting. Once you've come through them, pause, let it slow float back up, and then just twitch, twitch, twitch. Make this mimic a little bait fish that is essentially stuffed up its swim bladder and it can't swim down. It just keeps trying to swim down and keeps floating up. You can also then resort straight back to the medium roll, straight back through to school. But if you're fishing more structured waters where you've got trees, rocks, overhangs, laydowns, whatever, that's where I'm gonna start going back to that other tree. Twitch, 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 pause, let it slow float back up. Twitch, 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 pause, let it slow float back up. Often you'll find it's on the pause that you get the smack. Now we're gonna start working our way towards the soft plastic. So this one is predominantly soft plastic, kind of like a half cast. This is the Z-Man, the original chatterbait. So if you haven't fished with a chatterbait before, uh, they are essentially just like this little hexagonal looking blade on the nose of the lure, weighted like a jig head with a plastic on the back. So that big blade on the front is just gonna be chattering or flicking left to right. As that water pushes against it, it's gonna <laughs> creating strong, strong vibration and a lot of flash as well which means these are fairly snag resistant because that big blade in front of them often means you can bump straight through and around these snags. Comes with two profile plastics in this one. The one that's rigged up on it is a little fork tail plastic. If you wanna add a little bit more action to it and you wanna fish a little bit slower, there's a little curl tail plastic in the packet there as well. So you can chop and change them over to change the style. You can fish with these in the shallows, which is completely fine or because of the weight of the, the jig head on it, if you want to fish the depths, you're just going to have to slow it down a bit more, allowing it to sink a little bit deeper. We've included now three different plastics in the box this month. We're going to start off with one from our friends at Halco. So these, ah, super squishy. 
So these are the Mad Eyes by Halco. This is the Mad Craw in the two inch, which is about five centimeters. This one here is essentially gonna resemble a tiny, tiny little yabby, and they look absolutely dynamite. Love them, they look just like a little Australian yabby. So these are gonna be sick for the redfin. Trout will hit these too, but I'm thinking more redfin for these. Um, I'm gonna hop these along the bottom. If you've especially got some shallow, some shallows where the reddies are gonna come up and, and be schooling and feeding, sitting on the bottom, that's gonna be a dynamite time to use them. So maybe like a one six quarter ounce slow sink that down into that school and just slowly work it along that sort of bottom foot to two foot range of the water column. Uh, if they're sitting higher than that, if they're sitting like three, four or five foot off the bottom, then I'm probably gonna jump over to one of the other plastics. Maybe something like the next one, your two and a half inch swim fish by Lunker City. So these ones here are a big paddle, ta paddle tail style plastic. So you're about to do more of a slow to medium roll for this as that tail just goes nuts and does its thing. So you're gonna be able to hold that a little bit higher off the bottom of the water column. So cast out, let it sink down, slow roll straight back to you as this thing comes up and then try to hold a more steady depth, bringing this straight through where that school of fish is actually holding. Or you can swap over to the bigger profile again. So this is the Damiki Burn Grub in a three and a half inch. So these are a big grub style plastic, have a fairly thick body to them and a pretty, pretty long and wide curl tail as well. Good thing with this is because of the curl tail, you can fish them nice and slow. And that big wide profile curl tail on them is still gonna pick up a lot of micro movement within the water. So you can just let these sink down and that tail can just flutter around in the water. Or you can just work these on a super, super slow roll straight through the middle as well. That's it for the trout and redfin box this month. If you wanna check out this box or any of the others in the range, just head to www.tackleclub.com.au. Pick a box that's right for you, and welcome to the club.